because each piece, the right, the radius is getting smaller and smaller as it inches down towards the bridge. So none of these arches are the same. They're all unique. And that's why you need to use the spacer block, right, to transfer. And then once I cut this piece out, I'll take this piece, cut it two and three quarters wide, and then I'll use this piece to transfer it onto the next piece because that radius will be even tighter. I know, it's just like mind-boggling how math works. I don't understand it. I don't care. I just make things look awesome. That's what I do. So, yeah, that's how you do those parts. And the rest, you can just figure it out. Alright, you can see here I used a 30 degree chamfering bit instead of a 45 degree chamfering bit. And I'm just going to take my block plane and just slowly plane this into an even arch. I gotta say, that was a nice moment there, you know? There's nothing like working in the wood shop with the sun coming through the door and watching it light the sawdust that comes off your saw. It's just like one of those God moments, you know? It's just everything is perfect. That's what we do it for, boys. Those perfect moments of woodworking pleasure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nothing smells as good as red cedar. Especially wet red cedar. It's got that extra pungent on it. Like my nose is plugged. I got like a sinus infection. Probably because I'm sniffing so much of this crap. I can still smell it. It smells so good. Oh. But my favorite would have to be yellow cedar. If you haven't smelled yellow cedar, like Alaskan yellow cedar, oh. you haven't lived, man. About as good as it gets. Anyways. Yeah, I'm just making mortises out of... Uh, Drilling them out with an inch and a half Forstner and paring down the edges with a Japanese chisel. And simple as that, you guys. Woodworking doesn't need all sorts of fancy tools, even though I do have them. <laughs> Nothing like a sharp chisel on softwood. Cuts like a, like a chisel through softwood. Oh, love my life.